Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy Paul Picasso. Um, today I got a two-part video for you guys. Uh, the first part's gonna be kind of kind of uh, short, and then the second part is the main part of today's video. So first of all, I'm gonna be uh, sh just giving you a little rundown of uh, my the the theme on my phone, the setup and uh, some of the apps and um, yeah basically uh, a, a sort of what's on my Android except we're not going to really be focusing on any uh, specific apps okay guys so without further ado let's get the video started let's go okay guys so uh, first of all let's go ahead and uh, turn on the phone now, as you guys can see here I have a custom lock screen uh, it is widget locker one of the best lock screens or alternative lock screens out there for your Android device um, this is Widget Locker Beta. It has been updated to run with 4.4.2 uh, KitKat. It is 4.4 KitKat, uh, and I'm on 4.4.2. As you see here, I have a little camera button that um, you know basically takes you to the camera shortcut, and, and that's working fine as you can see there. So let's go back. And I have a nice little clock and date widget here uh, that I made simply using uh, UCCW widget, which is another great app, guys. Free in the Play Store. You should get that app. Make your own widgets. Customize it the only way, any way you want. Font, you're able to put in the date, the time, stuff like uh, weather condition, battery percentage, battery status, all type of different things, images and so forth. I have a nice little Superman background uh, that I got from Zedge Wallpaper. Uh, Zedge, of course, is that uh, free application for wallpaper wallpapers, ringtones, live wallpapers, even games. Um, I did do a quick little review on that in my What's on my Android video for January 2014. Okay guys, and down here we have a simple little key icon here um, that just simply swipes and unlocks the device. So let's go ahead and unlock the device and we're immediately brought to the home page. Now on the home page, very simple, I do have that same clock widget up here, which was uh, created in, once again, uh, UCCW widget. I zoom in a little bit more here, uh, just so you can see it properly. As you can see, I do have um, a little weather icon here with the current date. This is just a simple uh, weather icon from Eye in the Sky Weather. You tap on that and it just opens up the application. And there you go, this is Eye in the Sky. Uh, very good, very good, reliable um, weather application. It tells you, of course, the date. Uh, sorry, it tells you the time, where you're at, you can locate, and everything like that. Um, yeah, it gives you the whole forecast, the 15 day forecast here. You have the currently, and then 48 hours. So, a very good um, weather thing that I like to use. Um, of course, we've got the time, a nice little background there. Down here is just two icons, they're just folders, but I just chose to put the icons with them. The phone icon actually brings up, as you can see, you know, phone, hangout, BBM, camera, Magic Dac, Text Plus, Chrome, the Bible, all of that sort of stuff. And the next one beside it is actually a settings tab where I have all the settings. You know, I have all the um, exposed, in, uh, exposed installer and all the modules and all the little tweaks and stuff like that, tasker, all of that good stuff is in there. That's the first page, guys. And then I have a nice little, you know, animation that just kind of swings out. As you see, it brings back up the wallpaper there. And uh, yeah, so the second page, same thing. We have the clock. We have simple RSS reader widget. Um, uh, just a folder here with just some uh, some more apps. You know, very minimal, nothing really. Um, the, the biggest thing on my home screens would be this reader right there. The next page, as you can see, clear, simple as that. Just one little icon here, which is again a folder, the social. Again, swipe, we have that uh, transition again. Again, we're on the next page. We have the clock, another icon, which this icon is just mainly for games and so forth and back to the front screen now guys you see this widget I've had a lot of uh, people actually question and uh, question me and message me and um, you know the tweet and ask uh, you know what about the transitions that I have in most of my on most of my devices or in a video or something like that and I've mentioned that it is multi picture live wallpaper so to go to the second half of this video uh, what I'm going to be talking about is just a quick rundown of multi picture live wallpaper so let's just jump into the second half of the video let's go guys Okay guys, and stepping up to the stage is this little broody here. This is uh, my Kindle Fire HD 7 inch. Um, yep, it's not like any uh, regular Kindle Fire HD. This one is running Android. Okay, um, 
I was running CM11 on it, it was giving me a, a bit of problems, so I uh, took it off. So guys, it is running Android like I said, um, this is Nova Launcher that it's running right now. I also have the exposed installer installed on this and I am using the exposed framework. Yes, exposed framework does work on this once it's rooted, but yeah, so it, it, it's, it's basically a complete Android tablet. And as you can see, um, the basis of this video is that um, multi-picture live wallpaper and as you can see here, you can see the transition at work. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, once you download multi-picture live wallpaper, now there are two versions, the free version and then the donated version. Um, I'm currently running the donated version so you have all features unlocked. So all you want to do to get into the settings is go ahead and hold on the home screen. I'm using Nova Launcher Prime, uh, so we hit wallpaper and then we're going to see live wallpapers, you're going to go into live wallpapers and there you see at the top there you have uh, multi-picture live wallpaper. Let me see if I can get a bit of uh, better lighting there for you guys. And we're going to go ahead and select it. Now, multi-picture live wallpaper is usually uh, portraits. I'm using the exposed installer and I'm using app settings to uh, force it into uh, landscape mode. Okay, so you want to go ahead and hit settings. Now, when you hit settings, you are brought to this page. Now, where it says here, uh, screen settings, one, two, three, four, uh, so one, two, three, and four. So, we're going to come here. Now, where it says here, screen one settings to screen four settings, that won't be there. That's because I actually set, um, excuse me, that's because, uh, well, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, basically, this is just, you know, when you set uh, certain different uh, uh, things for specific screens. So, first off, you have uh, common screen, sorry, common settings. When you click on that, it just basically gives you, um, you know, just the, uh, let's see, it gives you, it just basically gives you the options right here. So you have picture source where you're able to choose the picture. Um, you click on that, you can either use a single picture, uh, an album, or a picture folder. Um, using a picture folder at the moment. Okay, um, background color. So basically with the background color, where every time you swipe the page, you can choose a different background color. You can also have where it just auto detects. And as see, it says right here, slow or maybe an exact. So basically if you have a white picture on the first page and you have a green picture on the second page and a yellow picture, it will try to match those colors of those pages so it's a little bit more random rather than have a set color based on those pages. Okay, and uh, crop ratio size, I usually put it to fit the full screen. You can do a medium crop or show the entire picture. Um, so we're going to mess around with a little bit of that and show you. Uh, decrease saturation, you can put it to 50 or lower, kind of give it that black and white feel. So we're going to come out of all this and we're going to just uh, look at what I have going on right now. So as you can see, this is uh, how I have it set up at the moment. And when I swipe, the first page is yellow second page the background I should say is black and swiping again then the background is uh, green as you can see trans trans transitioning between the pages that's when the colors change and then there we have the green so as you see it's full green here but the further you could take it it goes away and the next one is yellow and just right before you put down the page you can see it it's full yellow there and going again and this one is white okay I actually don't recall putting the white in there but ah, it looks good okay and then you have the ability to double tap and that also changes the pictures or you can put set uh, change intervals so let's go back into it wallpaper live wallpaper multi picture live wallpaper and we go into settings so basically let's go into common and let's do a uh, medium crop. Let's go medium crop. Okay, the background is white. Let's put the background to blue. Saturation. Let's go ahead and put it to 50. Okay, 
and down here we do have the individuals I'm not really going to trouble any of those but basically what it is let's go with the first one just so you guys have an idea picture source we can it's set to same same as common so whatever is in the common settings that's what it will follow so I can go ahead and pick a single picture okay and we'll just wait till that uh, comes up there we go and I'll just go to quick pick and I'll just uh, pick a random picture Let's go with let's go with uh, Ghost Minion, okay, and everything else will leave the same. So basically, you just go in there and you just fool around, have some fun, and see what what, what you like the best. Transition type, uh, we can come in here. Let's go with um, let's go with zoom and slide, and then you have the ability to show the reflection at the top or not show the reflection, and show the reflection at the bottom. And here it is, a uh, double tap to change picture and then the picture change interval. I have it set to five minutes, so every five minutes it will cycle and change those photos. It does drain battery. Uh, the Kindle Fire HD actually has a nice battery, so it doesn't drain the battery. Plus, I'm only on it when I'm playing games, and when I'm playing games, it doesn't matter, the battery is being drained. Um, anyways, playing those games. So I'm just gonna go ahead and actually set it to, uh, sorry, let's go and set it to 10 seconds. Or you know what, just for the sake of this video, let's go ahead and set it to 5 seconds. So when we're out there you can see. And um, yeah, so let's go ahead and hit back. Now after you do your configuration, you have to hit save wallpaper. Once you do that, that's it, you're done and you can just come out of that. And there's the first page. Of course the first page is only going to be on that one photo because we selected that one photo for it. So if you wait, let's count 5 seconds here. One, two. Three, four, five. As you can see, nothing happened. Okay, and let's go ahead and get to the second page. Let's double tap and see it still works because we only changed the first page. Double tap. Now let's go ahead and wait five seconds. And as you can see, the medium crop, you can see the green at the sides. And there's five seconds and it's been changed. So the media crop is a good idea if you want to kind of have a sort of borderline. Let's see Mr. Teddy Bear here, the lonely teddy bear. It's about five seconds. Okay, not five seconds. Uh, maybe I have uh, that page specifically set for an individual setting. Let's see this one. probably have individual settings on it that's why um, okay let's again take a look here okay so the changing of the intervals is not going through right now let's go back to wallpapers let's um, check to make sure that I did do that or if it's not working then I can you know give you guys the heads up right now and let you know that hey it's not working so uh, common settings uh, oh, that's not where I need to go in. What I need to go in is down here. Picture change interval. Yep, it's set to five seconds. Okay, maybe it doesn't work with the Kindle Fire HD. Um, you know, there are some things that uh, the Kindle Fire just can't do because it's not, uh, you know, an actual full Android tablet. So the picture changed. Let's wait and see if it's going to change in five seconds. It changed again. Let's wait and see if it's going to change again. There, changed again. Let's go to the second page. Let's see if the same thing is going on. And the second page doesn't change. And I don't think the third or fourth page change either. Or I should say the Okay, so that changed. Let's go here. Okay, so maybe a little glitchy, maybe it's because of the Kindle Fire HD and not an actual uh, Android device uh, out of, you know, out of the box. But yeah, guys, this is basically it. It's multi-picture live wallpaper. You come in here, you just go to go in, you look, you do a little tweaks here and there. And when you're done, you can actually have a nice setup. If you notice, uh, let's get back out of this. If you notice, um, as I mentioned, I am using Nova Launcher Prime. So as you can see there, when I'm transforming, you see this little, the, the glitch glass effect that's actually a transition from Nova Launcher so that works out pretty cool there the revolving door and uh, the bookshelf 
the revolving door and the bookshelf transition actually go together very nicely because then it's basically this clock here would actually just spin and the bookshelf the book actually comes in well you've seen it on some of my devices before um, so there's a lot of transitions in here to play with guys you know get some interesting wallpapers change up the background colors change up the transitions and really have fun with it guys all right so that is uh, just a quick look at multi picture live wallpaper guys if there's a free version there's a paid version of course the paid version comes with more features check it out um, you know what's your setup guys all right um, so your boy Paul Picasso here for uh, Picasso Entertainment just showing you a nice little app review uh, as the main part the main part portion of this video guys so thanks for sticking around thanks for checking it out uh, this is where I do all of my um, you know amazing transitions that you guys have been asking about so there you go multi picture live wallpaper this is the donated version get it check it out check the free version out see if you do like it it's something you want to uh, mess around with and uh, yeah if you like the video hit that thumbs up button uh, drop a comment down below let me know what you guys have been up to since the new year started you know what devices are you guys planning to get what do you have you know what's your new year's resolution mine is to get more high-tech quality videos for you guys out there to enjoy and yeah let Picasso entertainment build up from the ground with you guys there um, you know by our sides guys you know we're all in this together Picasso entertainment here to entertain you guys teach and learn alongside you guys all right your boy Paul Picasso signing out guys until my next video peace continue having a happy new year I'm out